Our world emits roughly 50 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions every year. And of that 50 billion, agriculture accounts for almost 20%. If you kind of look at the, the big picture opportunity to reduce emissions, agriculture is a huge area where that can happen. By introducing oxygen into a rice system, either through alternate wetting and drying or furrow irrigated rice or row rice, when oxygen gets exposed to the soil, you start to suppress the methane that's being produced by those microbes. When you have the field flooded, you're certainly gonna expect higher methane emissions than when you can do furrow irrigated rice and have at least part of the field not flooded. So ultimately, we're looking at somewhere around a 33% savings of water in furrow irrigated rice is what we can expect to see if we're irrigating it at a lower frequency that, that could still maintain yield. Holding the flood compacts the soil in itself, just the weight of the water, and then you're, you're, you're causing methane to build up and, and all that breakdown. We try to keep it wet. We're not, we're not keeping a flood on it, we're just keeping it wet. That's all the rice really needs. We manage nitrogen use efficiency by tracking how the farmer applies nitrogen, how much they apply, where they apply it. We monitor residue management. Farmers in our program are encouraged to do best practices for managing their rice straw after harvest. We work with farmers to do things like incorporating that rice straw back into the soil, which returns nutrients to the soil. We look at net greenhouse gas emissions, so that's inclusive of methane emissions, N2O emissions, soil carbon sequestration. Rice farming will be transformed in the United States. It will save literally billions of gallons of water and hundreds of thousands of tons of greenhouse gases. And I think it's rare to be in a position where you get to drive that kind of impact. And so it's been really exciting to be a part of it.